What is the project? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today, I'm going to show you how I'm going to build my mallet for Scotty's mallet challenge over at Custom Creations. And the hashtag is hashtag custom grit mallet challenge. What I've been going for, and if you've been following along on my Instagram, I've been messing around with some segmented rings and segmented turning. I made this mini mallet as a prototype to test the ring size, the diameters, the process, more importantly. I made a wedgie sled and I just refined that process. Copy a little bit from Dana, copy a little bit from some other blokes on uh, YouTube as well. If you wanna see any of that stuff, you can check my Instagram out, you can check Dana's YouTube video on how to do that wedgie stuff. But this video is gonna be about the process of making that. So stick around, have a watch, see what sort of crazy mallet I can come, can come up with. Ready go. So these are gonna make up my segments. Everything. Gonna have two or three Jarrah ones two or three American oak ones. So I think I've worked out I need about six rings to get the height of the mallet that I need this way. So that's that, time to set up the wedgie sled. Now like I said, I'm going for 12 sides and I whip these up on the laser cutter. You just draw a 12 sided polygon and keep the section you want, make it as big as you need. This works for me. Raise it up. Keep the wedgie flat against the blade. That you're gonna reference off. I like using this micro jig match fit system. With these clamps and I can use the dovetail bit to uh, cut tracks and everything and have save money on a T-track system and just use the dovetails. So I'm just gonna clamp that in place so it doesn't move. And I want to set my little depth stopper thing over here to the exact distance that I need. This little thing, it stops each segment that falls off hitting the blade and flying back and hitting me in the nuts. So it just falls onto that little wedge there and falls over. Practice seems to work, got the right distance out of these things, close enough. As long as they're all the same, they shouldn't matter too much. This is a thing of beauty. Look at that. When you actually work out how to use the sled properly, you get nice, tight fitting rings. Got a box of segments. Should do me. Probably for today. And cut to the next one. How cool is that? Six million views, I reckon, Dana. So the plan is cut little strips and glue in little veneers in between each segment. So a lot of fiddly little bits. And hopefully, these are the colors I could get. Purple, red, aqua, blue, green. Could get all the rainbow, but got half of it. So hopefully we'll get some sort of rainbow cool thing happening in between each of these layers. Gotta work out color patterns, arrangements, adding 
the different colors in each one or just have one row of each color? Decisions. This could take a while. I've only got three pipe clamps, so I've got three segments ready. I'll glue them up, then I'll sort out the other three segments to glue when I can get them out of the pipe clamp. Let's do it. Hi, Mayo. Hey, how you going? Yep, that's my neighbor. Anytime he hears me breathe or any noise outside, he's out there. So I must have been breathing too loud in the in the shed that day. And I don't think he realized that my camera was rolling and he stood right in front of the first few glue ups of my segmented rings. But he did give me a few pearls of wisdom along the way, which I hope you can enjoy as well. So he did interrupt my opportunity to talk while I did this, but I glued up each segment with the veneers in between each segment and used some hose clamps to tighten them together and they worked pretty well. Gave some even pressure along the whole ring, just had to make sure they were flat and even. Um, but yeah, they looked pretty good. You know, the old days. So it'll be a very colorful mallet. Yeah. You're using it with the chisels, are you? Yeah. I always use the, the hammer. Okay, if I used a hammer, I wouldn't be able to make a mallet for the hashtag custom grip mallet challenge. So, thanks, mate. Got all the rings done. Time to pull them apart. Now, what I've been doing for this practice one anyway, I mounted that onto my chuck and I used a the square uh, carbide cutter to just flatten off those faces and it worked pretty well. I don't have a drum sander here right now. So that seems to be the way to work uh, those flat faces the best to get them to glue to each other nice and flat when it comes time for that. And I also drill, I'm gonna drill out a 41 mil hole for a dowel that I'll uh, make as well for that handle that'll go right through each layer of the rings. What I've got going on over here is I'm gluing on the in-between veneer layer to the ring and then they, they're going to stack up like that. I've drilled out all the holes to 41 mils, that's what I worked out my segments to be. So I probably should have glued these on before, but to make it work, it'll all come together. How you going? I didn't get much footage of this glue up, but cut three sections and this is gonna make up the handle. So I used some oak, jarrah and skateboards to match the different colors on the um, rings. So I'm gonna turn down a section for the head to 41 mils and the rest is gonna be the mallet handle to a shape that I want, which I don't know yet. We'll see how we go. That's my little rainbow wedge. 
I am 110% going to make a spare backup one from something else because I can see this thing exploding as soon as I want to hammer it into the, the slot. I don't think I recorded any of that, but it's glued. You're kidding. Now I think what I said was, if I stuff this up, I think I pretty much hand the win over to Dana. Hashtag beat Dana. I'm gonna get a lot of use, maybe more admiration out of this mallet. It's come out looking awesome. I've put a clear coat of poly on it just to accentuate those colored veneers in each segmented ring and they've come out looking marvelous. I'll show you some close-up shots in a little bit. But the handles come out nice. The little wedge that I put in there straight through one of the, the joins in the hexagon segments has come out really well. And it's just, it's got some meat behind it. It's really going to help chiseling. Okay. Thanks for Scotty at Custom Creations for holding this hashtag custom group mallet challenge this year. There's some awesome entries out there. There's a few YouTube videos and a few Instagram uh, submissions as well. So go on those platforms and check them out. As always, check out my stuff um, and like and subscribe and all that crap. Until next time, I'll see you later.